What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to do a four-year review on the Victorinox one-handed tracker. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing this evening? Hope it's doing great. Whenever you watch this, I hope your day's gone good. Man, times are changing again, aren't they? Um, just when we thought we were getting out of the woods, uh, something else happens. We're not going to talk about it though. We're going to talk about this knife right here. Um, last few camping trips, I've been carrying this knife particularly exclusively. Um, it is the Victor Knox or Swiss Army knife, one handed tracker. Now it's just called the tracker. Um, got the name for one handed because of the thumb hole to open it up just like so. Um, and it does have a liner lock that holds that blade in, open for you. Um, believe it or not, I've had this knife for four years. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I always thought Victor Knox were cool knives or Swiss Army knives were cool knives. But I never... Let me zoom you in a little closer so you're seeing things. But I never um, owned one personally. I had a small one at one time, and I don't know what happened to it. That was a long time ago. But I've had this one now for four years, and I've actually carried it on a lot of camping trips. Um, used to, I'd only carry a knife that had a belt clip. This one doesn't have a, or not a belt, but a pocket clip. This one doesn't have anything. It just drops down in your pocket. Now you can tie a lanyard on to this end, but I never have. Um, it is stainless steel. Everything stainless steel on it. Uh, this one's got the, I think they call it the wave cut on the blade. Let me get real zoom. Um, and this right here is just your plain edge, but it's a chisel cut. It's not a uh, any other particular edge on it it's just a chisel because it's on one side um i i've i use the living crap out of this thing now when i take it camping um i've used the can opener a time or two and i will say this that is the, the this one has something going for it that most knives don't and that that can opener is sharp it is really sharp and then of course you got your um little small screwdriver bit right there um another place thing that this little knife shines on and i've used the saw that is one of the most aggressive teeth in a saw i have ever touched um i mean you can you can almost cut a finger open just the teeth on the saw now it is not a liner lock it is just a standard um I forgot what to call it. Slip joint, slip joint locking system. Um, I think the only other thing that holds the liner lock is it the bottle opener, maybe. Yeah, the bottle opener has um, and screwdriver pry. I think this is also considered a pry bar. Um, has the liner lock. Now the only other thing, the other tool that is coming real handy. Um, for me from time to time has been the awl and I will say the awl is hard to get out it is very stiff still on this knife um, but that's as far as it opens you can use that to burrow things out it is sharp it does have a really sharp edge on it Let's see if you can kind of get that that's a that's a pretty sharp edge on that now it's not razor sharp it wouldn't you know well I don't know no, it wouldn't cut you, but it, it's definitely a very sharp edge on it. I've used that quite a bit. I've never used the Phillips head on this, but I will say that's a good looking Phillips head screwdriver bit on, um, on the knife. Of course, it has the tweezers and the toothpick, and I have used the toothpick a time or two. So, for four years, how do I feel this knife? has done its done its work it's done its work um i've done everything for cutting food up with it 
um, cut my last steak, my steak at the last camping trip with it. And I did some other preparing with it, washed it off real good and kept on going. But with a stainless blade, you don't have to worry as much um, by getting rusty on you, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I highly recommend it. Matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a 1500 subscriber giveaway and one of these may very well end up in the giveaway. So remember that if you're looking to subscribe to the channel, now's the time because come 1500 giveaway, I'm going to be giving away one of these and some other things, but I like that knife. I think it's an excellent camping knife. Um, it's a good EDC knife. Um, I still prefer a pocket clip knife for my everyday carry, but you can't go wrong with this thing. If that's the only thing you got in your pocket is one of these. Uh, you cannot go wrong with it. And I don't know why it took me so long to like a Victor Knox knife. I, it just has. It's taken me forever to like one, and that's the one I like. So, anyways, and, and some people don't like that. With anyway, it's like having a Victor Knox over a Leatherman. You know, some people have their druthers and what they'd rather have. Now, this does not have pliers. You're correct. If you if somebody's out there hollering, well, it doesn't have pliers. You're right. It doesn't have pliers. Um, has there been times I needed pliers out camping? Yeah, sure. But I've used this more than I have a any of my uh, Leathermans. But I always have a Leatherman with me too. That's something I can throw on my belt, I can throw on my backpack, but this is always in my pocket. So, anyways, that's it, guys. For four years, it's been a good knife. It's gonna stay in rotation. It's gonna keep going camping when I go camping and hiking. Yeah, so whatever. that's it for the night. Um, I just wanted to bring you a four-year recap on the Victor Knox knife and how it's held up. It's held up really good. I have put some of the KLP, KPL. Good lord, I can't talk tonight. Um, stuff on the on the joints of this thing and it has loosened up a little bit but it's just a stiff and that just shows how well it's made knife um so anyway i appreciate you watching be prepared